Reports from some countries that the Syrian government has used chemical weapons in its conflict with rebels should be treated with caution, according to the U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel. America has previously said that the use of chemical weapons would cross a red line. Meanwhile, on the ground in Syria's second city, Aleppo, the minaret of one of the country's most famous mosques, has been destroyed. Now, these images posted on the internet show the 11th century minaret of the Umayyad Mosque reduced to a pile of rubble. Now, the state news agency Sana has accused rebels of blowing it up, but activists say that the minaret was hit by Syrian army tank fire. And uh, let's take a look at a picture of what the famous mosque looked like before it was destroyed. Well, let's speak to Lina Sege Atta, an architect from Aleppo with a specialism in Islamic architecture, joining us via Skype from Chicago, where she now lives. Um, with the loss of so many lives in Syria, I guess it is understandable that the destruction of architecturally significant buildings such as this mosque kind of are overlooked. But just put this into context for us, just how important is the Umayyad Mosque? The Umayyad Mosque is very important to the city of Aleppo and to Syria. It is one of the oldest and largest uh, mosques in Syria. And the city of Aleppo is the oldest continuously inhabited city in the world. So if the old city of Aleppo, which has been destroyed um, in the past six, seven months, is the heart of the city, this mosque is actually the heart of the old city of Aleppo. And it's extremely significant to Syrians and to everybody who visits the city. Because it was more than just a place of worship. It was, a, it was the centerpiece of the city. The whole city was built around it, wasn't it? Yes, I mean, the, the mosque is probably the second most visited site in Aleppo after the citadel, and the citadel is very close to it. The mosque is very close to the entrance to the, um, the ancient souks that were also burned um, a few months back. And so the, mo the mosque is very important and significant architecturally and to the identity of people from Aleppo. Um, we grew up you know, visiting these sites uh, with tourists and on our own, and it's a very important site. Um, it's in the middle of the city. It's often surrounded by a lot of bustling movement, but when you enter into the mosque, it's very quiet and calm, and it is a sacred space where everybody would visit, and you would feel the weight of history on you when you were there, and it's a place where you would feel as a person very insignificant because you're in a place of such mass history and um, a lot of the civilizations have um, existed on this site before you're standing on layers of archaeological history and it's very difficult to understand how we as people are going to face this mass destruction in our in our world heritage inside of our cities. And Lena, just briefly, I understand that, as is often the case with Syria, conflicting reports, it's very difficult to verify um, as to what is actually happening on the ground, but in your opinion, who's behind this? Well, we don't know for sure who's behind it or how it actually happened because the footage shows the minaret after its destruction. But what we do know is that we have a regime with a 25-month track record of um, indiscriminate um, shelling and destruction and targeting of civilians, villages, towns and also the destruction of many historical sites across Syria, different citadels. The last month they destroyed the minaret, the regime destroyed the minaret of the Mari Mosque in Dara. There has been mass destruction to the site of the Khalid ibn Walid Mosque in Hamas. And this is just another episode that follows the same line that's been going on for two years now in Syria. Lina Sergei Atta, we have to leave it there, but thank you for your thoughts.